Grade three, today we are going to learn about Sing Quain poems. Thank you so much for your awesome haikus. Let's take a look at what these are. So a Sing Quain poem is a poem that has five different lines. This is one and this is one. Each line has its own rule. So let's take a look at this example. Notice how it's centered. So apples goes in the middle, the two words go underneath. This shape and this format is what your Sing Quain is going to look like, but with your own words. So this says apples, crunchy, sweet, biting, growing, baking, tastes like spring days, palms. That one, you don't need to use that word. I used that because I couldn't find another synonym for apples, so that is the French word for apples. So let's take a closer look. The first line has one word in it, and that is the noun or subject of the Cinquain. The second line has two words, and is they are made up of adjectives, so crunchy, sweet, two adjectives. What do you notice as I go down? How many words are in each line? So for line three, biting, growing, and baking, three verbs or action words. Four has four words and tells you how the subject makes the writer feel. So I said tastes like spring days. And the last line is back to just one word and it's a synonym for the subject. So another word for what the subject is. Here's another example. For this poem, for the first line, I used one word and it's a noun, dogs. For the second line, it's two words and they're adjectives, fluffy, ferocious. For the third line, it's three words and they are verbs or action words, running, barking, playing. The fourth line is four words that tell you how it made the reader feel. Make me feel delighted. And the last word is a synonym for the word dogs. So dogs and puppies mean the same thing. So this is what level one would look like. You're going to do the exact same type of sing queen that I just did, and this page tells you about it a little bit better. So you're going to make sure you pay close attention to the number of words that go in each line and the type of words. So if it needs to be a noun, you're going to use a noun. If it needs to be adjectives, you're going to use adjectives. Try to use lots of juicy words, okay? So this tells you a little bit more about it, and I can post this to Class Dojo if it's easier for you to see. Here's another example. Chocolate, one word and a noun. Sweet, creamy, two words that are adjectives. Unwrap, chew, swallow, three words that are verbs. How it makes them feel, yummy in the tummy, and heaven. They were being creative and poetic here because heaven and chocolate don't actually mean the same thing. You can also take a look up here and it'll tell you again. Line one has one word that's a noun. The two words in line two are adjectives that describe the title and so on. If you want a challenge, you can do level two. This is a different type of synquain called a syllable synquain. So it still has five lines, but it looks a little bit different. Line one has two syllables and that's the title of your poem. Line two has four syllables that describe the, po the subject or the title. Line three has six, six syllables, sorry, that describe the title and action, so you would use verbs in there. Line four has eight syllables that describe a feeling of the title. And line five has two syllables that refer back to the title. So here's an example, springtime. That's two syllables, springtime, but it is a title for the poem. Fresh smelling air, fresh smelling air. That's four syllables and it's describing the title. Line three says, play in the rain and sun. Play in the rain and sun. That's the six syllables, and they're describing the title and action, so they used a verb. Line four says, crisp, cool air feels good on my skin. Crisp, cool air feels good on my skin. That's eight syllables, and it describes the feeling of the title. And the last one is two syllables, happy, and it refers back to the title. So this is a challenge. If you think this is too difficult, then you don't have to do it. You can do level one. This is just if you want to extend your knowledge, extend your learning, and try something new using the syllables that we learned last week. So now it's your turn. You're gonna choose level one or level two. Remember, you don't need to do level two if it's too challenging. I only need one Sinquain from you. You're gonna submit it to the Sinquain Drafts activity by Thursday night. On Thursday, we are going to have our Zoom call be a poetry reading. That means you can choose one or two of your poems to read to the class. You don't have to do this if you're not comfortable, but it's really fun to share. 
I will make sure that each of you has a chance to do this, and your challenge is to dress up like a poet. I'm going to wear a beret. Have fun!